Hey Logan. Um, hopefully you can see me okay. I'm, I'm using my phone and I've got it sitting on the counter. Actually, the, I didn't even move the light closer or anything. All right, let me know. Okay, so you can see me, you can hear me. Yes, no, maybe so. It's, it's been a day, it has been a day. Okay, so this is my April Shop My Stash. Uh, usually I do these on the first. Well, April has its own thing that it does on April 1st. So I didn't want anybody to think this was like an April Fool's thing, even though I always try and live stream these on the first of the month. Um, I also wasn't feeling that great yesterday. So this kind of got pushed back to today. And literally I came in here to set up the light, pull everything out and do the live stream at literally like three minutes after noon. And my, and the bathroom door was still open and everything. Oh, it's kind of open right now. But, um, I had the bathroom door cracked open about this much. And next thing I know, I see my dad and he's holding Emily and I'm like, I was just fixing to go live, dad, what's up? And then I see it. Um, my dad's dog got hit by a car. It was actually a pickup truck right out in front of our house in our yard. Um, and the, excuse my language, motherfucker just kept driving. And we live in the country. There's nothing but cow pasture across from our house. There's only houses on this side of the road that we're on. And for those of you that have seen me do live streams, you know what the front yard looks like. Um, so... At 12.15, I was calling the vet because I'm like, okay, well, if it's just her forearm, I can, I can do that. I can, um, I mean, literally I still have like gauze pads and my shears and tape and the stuff that I use for wound care on my bathroom counter. And I was digging around for my suture kit because I'm like, okay, it, her wound needs to be flushed. It needs to be cleaned out. And my dad's picking up my hand soap. And I'm like, no, don't use that. It's got fragrance in it. And I, I go to grab this, which is, um, it's an antibacterial mixture. Actually, I just realized there's blood on this bottle. Um, it's got dial soap in it and a couple of other, uh, like ingredients like tea tree and stuff like that. Um, and I was just going to have him spray it on the wound and we were going to clean it. And um, I had literally just cleaned my bathroom floor like 10 minutes before that because I noticed that I had drugged some dirt in here on my house slippers. And so I was like, okay, we can do this. My dad was in tears. My, my tough German dad was in tears bringing her in the bathroom. And he was shaking. She was fine. Her arm is all pour up, um, all the way, like there's no skin, no fur left, no nothing. It's all the way down to the muscle. At first I thought it was to the bone, but then I got a closer look at it and it's just to the muscle. All the pads on her feet are okay. Um, the, um, and then he went to move her because I had, I moved all of my surgical stuff into a drawer in the bottom of this cabinet because I have a medic kit that I used to use when I used to go to accidents at the roadside because I am um, CPR certified. Well, it's not, I'm not certified anymore, but I was CPR certified. I was trained as a first responder. I could stop at accident scenes. I always carried a medic bag with me. Um, no matter what the circumstances were, I was always the kind of person, especially for being a biker, I could always stop and help people um, if they were in an accident before emergency personnel got there. So I knew what to do. I knew what to take care of. Um, plus, my my mom's a medical transcriptionist has been since I was a kid. I know all the terminology. I've been to a bunch of doctors. I've sat in on a lot of meetings. Um, my mom's sisters are both RNs. Her mother was an RN. I've had plenty of surgeries myself. Um, and of course I have had some, some medical training. So I, I knew what to do with the dog. And then he moved her and I saw a hole on her back hind quarter. I about the, I, the first thing I said to him was, 
we, she needs to go to the vet. She's small. It's a chihuahua. There could be internal bleeding. We don't know how bad it is. She needs to go to the vet. He's like, no, it's just her arm. She should be okay. She came running back to me. I'm like, okay, well, that's good. She's on, she was running through the yard to get to my dad because he was the only one outside. I literally just walked into my bathroom and I'm like, okay, if she's walking on all fours and that means nothing is broken, that's a good sign. But she's also in shock. So even when a person's injured and something is broken, um, you can still move it a little bit until shock sets in and then it goes stiff. So then he, he goes to move his arm and her back leg opens up and there is a hole I mean, I kid you not, I could, I could literally stick several fingers in the hole where her leg attaches to her, her side. And I'm like, go in the laundry room, get one of the towels that I just put in the, in the cabinet in the laundry room that's one of the animal towels. I said, we're going to the vet. He goes, no, no, she'll be fine. She just need to bandage this. She, I'm like, no, we're going to the vet right now. I'm not going to argue with you about this. There's a fucking hole in her leg. So we're going. So my dad's a mess. I am keeping my shit cool. I do really well under pressure. Um, usually in situations that are high nerve, high... Um, even when I was in my own motorcycle accident, everybody was like screaming and yelling and cussing and I'm just perfectly calm. I, it's just how I am. Under stress and pressure, I'm pretty good. It's usually afterwards when all the emotions and the anxiety and everything hits me that I just kind of lose it. So I run in my bedroom, grab my pants, my shoes, my socks, and thankfully I had already, um, the top half of me was already basically dressed to leave the house because um, I recorded this makeup look and like I said, I was fixing it live. So um, you're right, Logan, I am. Um, so I'm standing at my, behind my computer chair, like I don't even care that my dad is sitting in the chair in the middle, holding the dog wrapped in a big um, towel that I use for animals. And I'm like, pulling off my PJ pants and throwing jeans on and I'm standing there fighting to put socks on and shoes on and I'm like stay there I will get everything and so where are your truck keys because he had parked his work truck um, behind the car because dad didn't go to work today because we both ate the same thing we both got sick don't eat black forest ham if it feels slimy it's it's gone bad I don't care it didn't smell bad it didn't taste bad but it felt slimy to the touch if it feels like snot don't eat it um, so he's been dealing with that and I ate it the day before he did. And so that's why I didn't do the live stream yesterday was because of that. And, um, so I'm going into his bedroom to get his wallet. I'm going out to the, uh, garage to, and thankfully I, I noticed that he wasn't up by seven this morning. So I had already gathered house trash and taken trash and stuff out because it's trash day to day. And I took trash out and recycle out and cleaned the cat boxes and the rat cages and scrubbed one of the cat boxes out. And I had it outside draining and whatnot um, when all of this stuff had occurred. And so I moved his work truck, backed the car up because how I parked the car in the garage, there's a motorcycle literally like six inches from it. So you can't get in the passenger side. So I backed the car up. I told dad, I said, go get in the car and I will bring everything out. I went out to the outside because dad was working on the extension uh, he's adding um, two bedrooms onto the back of the house so what he's building on an extension onto the house and um, I, I said I will bring everything out to the car just go get in the car I don't want to take her because number one I don't want to move her number two I, I don't want her to get nervous I don't want her to try and move which could injure something further I didn't know how bad it was I went out there turned stuff off grabbed wallets and phones and keys and went out the door. And we, I mean, he's like, you're speeding. I'm like, dad, do you want to get to the vet or not? And we got there. The vets were all on lunch until one o'clock at like 1.13. Um, well, 107, they came in the room and saw us. 1.13, she said that she was going to be back with anesthetic for the dog to, because she was like, holding her paw like this and all the muscles and stuff here were all contracted. So they were, I mean, she was swollen on her shoulder area and I was afraid to touch her and move her because I didn't want 
to cause her further pain. Oh, that's okay. Um, so the um, vet left the room and it was like 23 after one when she came back with a bill that said, well, we're going to give her a shot for pain. We're going to give her antibiotics and we're going to, and I'm like, okay, you said you were going to go get something for pain and then come back, but now you're coming back in with a freaking piece of paper. I don't give a shit about the piece of paper. I'm worried about the dog. And she went to manipulate the back leg and the hole that just gaped open and you could see pieces of like dirt and, and sticks and asphalt and um, leaf, there was a leaf piece in there. I mean, it was a mess. So um, they ended up deciding to keep the dog for observation. And I said, well, what about like an x-ray or MRI to rule out you know, I, I said, I'm not worried about broken bones because dad is standing there in shock, still holding the dog, even though it's on the table. Um, so she's, and I said, she's, she was standing on the legs. So she, I'm not worried about them being broken, but I am worried about internal bleeding. It's a chihuahua. She weighs like 12 pounds. I mean, she's a little sausage on legs and her whole like side is what got hit her whole right side. So, um, they decided that they were going to keep her for observation. We're supposed to go back at five o'clock and get her. I've been up since 1030 last night. Um, I laid down at like two thirty, three o'clock yesterday afternoon. I slept for a couple of hours, woke up coughing, bathroom situation, um, and then back to bed. And then I slept until 1030 and I, I've literally been up editing um and youtube and i played world of warcraft for like two hours this morning and that that's basically I, i've been awake the whole time um i pulled stuff from my shop my stash this morning because i knew yesterday i wasn't feeling good and so i went through everything um this morning and did that and i cleaned the kitchen ran the dishwasher did the kitchen sink there's you know pulled stuff to make chicken and dumplings and Needless to say, I didn't make chicken and dumplings, even though I could still make it. It takes like six hours to cook in the crock pot. And I'm just, I'm kind of, my brain ain't there right now. So, um, the veterinary doesn't think there's any internal bleeding because she did listen to her and had there been some sort of internal injury, she should have been able to pick it up on the funky electronic stethoscope. I didn't even think to get my stethoscope and check her, but... It is what it is. Um, so they're keeping her for right now. Um, they could call on the house phone, my phone, dad's got his cell phone. So it's the order in which I wrote it was the house phone, my cell phone, and then dad's phone. So if the live stream cuts off, it just means I have an incoming call. Um, if I have to get up and leave for a minute, it means that somebody's calling the house phone. We, we've already had one call since we've been home and it was just some BS you don't know what the, the world is coming click i don't care what the world is coming to i can see it with my own eyes i don't need some robo call to like scare me into some propaganda bs i got enough going on for the day i do i'm like i'm looking at my hair and i'm like i want to just cut, run a comb through. i to be honest right now i really could give two fucks i i could not care absolutely less um so I'll be right back. I need my vape. Like, I'm seriously like stressed out. I found coffee. This is my second cup of coffee that I didn't even finish drinking earlier because I was busy doing other stuff. So cheers. It's my little Avon witch's glass. This is what it looks like. It's got a little witch flying on a broom and it's got bats and a cat and a spider on one side. It's an old, I think I got it in like 2006. Anyways. Okay, so rant over. I don't even know how long I've been streaming. Um, 
Yeah, Dad's the one that got covered in blood. He was holding her. I mean, the only blood that's in here is basically what's on my bathroom counter and, like, the blood splatter on, like, you can, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but there's, like, blood splatter on here. And there's a little on the bandage for me handling it, but, and there's, whatever, uh, it is what it is. Um... So I'm wearing, yeah, thank you. I have like five left. I bought six, but it was funny. The one I was washing it in the sink one day and it separated right here on the handle. And well, I mean, it still works as a mug, but I mean, I like to hold my mug. So it kind of defeats the purpose if I'm going to have to, you know, do this with it. I'm not a toddler. I don't need a sippy cup. So yeah, my, I got my vape. That's something that I need to do that I had planned on doing today was going to my vape store to get more uh, menthol. But that's just going to have to freaking wait because other shit happen. Like they say, shit happens. Um, okay, getting into the actual stuff for the shop, my stash. I did order the Jeffree Star Blue Blood eyeshadow palette. It hasn't shipped yet, but when it gets here... Um, I will be including that into this month's Shop My Stash. Um, two items that I've used, this one I've used for the last two months, and there's literally like this much of it left in here. This is my, it's like a super hydrating eye cream, and then my Pure Least Daily Lip Nourisher. I'm just going to keep that in. I'm going to be sad when that one's gone. I really like it. I don't even know how much the full size is. For other skincare, I pulled these because this one's almost gone. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's like a fragrance-free moisturizer. There's like maybe a week's worth of uses left in it. I put it on this morning after my shower. And then this Belief True Belief, uh, True Cream Aqua Balm. It's kind of deceiving because of the bottom. This came from a Sephora Play, like one of the last ones that I got. This stuff burns the shit out of my skin. I think it's the fragrance in it. There's like lemon or something in it and it really does burn my skin. So I just want to get rid of it um, and clear up, clear out some of the stuff that I have in my bathroom. I uh, recorded a ton of declutter videos. So I was editing this this morning. Um, I've decluttered blushes and foundations and concealers and palettes, eyeshadows, uh, you name it. Uh, the only thing that I didn't declutter was brow products and eyeliners. And I haven't done those yet, but I recorded everything else the other day. I think I recorded eight, eight or nine videos all in, all in a row until my battery quit. Oh, that's another thing. Oh yeah, I vape. I use, um, the one liquid that I use is, it's made in house, but the other one is from High Caliber. Um, it's a cinnamon. It's called Flamethrower. This stuff is amazing. It's like putting a, a fireball in your mouth. And then I mix it with the menthol. I do like a 50-50 a mixture. So it's like a peppermint and a, putting a, a peppermint candy and a fireball ball in your mouth at the same time it's and this is sweet this has sweetener added in it whereas the menthol one doesn't so dad bought this for me and it looks like my stream is stuck hello oh are we there now Oh, oh, we're moving again. Okay, the for whatever reason, the iPhone was plugged in, but the plug itself wasn't actually attached to the wall. Okay, so this is my new Canon. This is a Canon Rebel T6i. I was actually saving up to buy the T5i that was like $500 on Amazon. Dad bought the T6i on Amazon with the kit it came with. It came with a bag, a remote, the tripod, um, of course the camera, the microphone we bought separate. Um, it came with like 
extra like lenses and stuff. All my lenses and stuff are in here. It came with a cute little itty bitty like like tripod. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. Um, don't know if I'll ever use it. It came with a little um, card holder, which I already had several of these like these SIM cards and the and the the mini mini cards, but uh, or I guess that says a micro, isn't it? Yeah the micro sims anyways I already had some of these but they it came with like 232 gig and I had like one that's I have one that's 128 gig and then I've got another one that I've been recording exclusively ASMR uh, and hair content on and that one is 64 gig and the one that's in the machine right now is a 16 gig and then I've got two eight and then this one's a four gig and then I've got one out there that's another 64 gig so I have plenty of storage space but um so i have a brand new camera some of the videos that will be going up um i don't know if it's the one today that's going up or the one that's going up tomorrow it was recorded with this monster right here so i will um you'll notice there the quality of the photo the picture isn't much different from my iphone but the volume and clarity of the sound is a thousand times better due to this bad boy so i do have a new camera um i do have to pay dad back for it but that is completely okay um it wasn't like you know it wasn't a daddy bought me a gift kind of thing it was a daddy bought it for me because my iphone keeps dying so yeah so there's that um I guess I will do palettes next. I pulled a bunch of palettes and during my declutter videos, you'll understand why I pulled so many, but I have a bunch of like single shadows and uh, pan sizes and stuff that I don't really get into much because I either forget that I have them or um, they just get pushed aside or they get put in a drawer and I completely forget that I have them. So I pulled, the right right logan no judgment we can't you know what one person does in their life um you can't judge them for because your situation is different than theirs but i do know for a fact there is somebody that will probably watch this live stream and give it a thumbs down and be a bitch and um say that i must have done something to my dad or for my dad in order for him to buy me a 700 hundred dollar camera she can kiss my white ass Anyways, this is a blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I have used this in previous videos. I've used it as blush. I use two shades in here kind of as like a contour. This one I use for like bronzer. Um, I've also used this in a video for eyeshadow. So I pulled this. I And I don't think I pulled... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't pull another blush. I just... I have this. I pulled the nude lip color palette. I'm gonna see if I can get some use out of this. I've used, I think, 10 shades out of here total, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking about trying to sell it, but I do have, I did stick a brush in a couple of them, so I would literally have to like try and sanitize those um, before selling it. But again, I don't know if somebody would want to buy this. I have a lot of stuff that I've got to list on my Depop store. So I did pull a lip palette as well. Yes, there always is. And in this palette, I've got one that's running around. This is basically the palette that I made of all like my face products. So it has uh, an oil control pressed powder here and two banana powders that you're supposed to use for under your eyes. I've got three little miniature bronzers here and a couple of highlights and then the rest are blushes. So I pulled this because, I don't know, I'm wrecking the place. Um, during my declutter series, I realized that I really wasn't getting use out of those things. And once I used them for like the Shop My Stash or I used them because I got them from like the Ipsy and Baggings, um, I just realized that I wasn't, I wasn't messing with them anymore. So this one here, I just had in my shop, my stash. This is the Ciate London um, new highlighter in like moon dust or something like that. And then this is the blush from Lottie London called Zane. Um, 
So, and I've got a couple of Ofer Cosmetics products in here that I've gotten in past Ipsy Glam bags, but I just, because they're in there, I completely forget that I have them. The late 80s, yeah. I don't know, I think people, guys were still really wearing makeup in the 90s too. It wasn't until like 2000 that basically people thought guys wearing makeup was passe. So I pulled this palette that has single shadows in it. Some of them are some new shadows that I bought. Some of them are old shadows from the private label company that I used to work with to manufacture my makeup. And then I've got like the little Coastal Scents guys um, that I pulled out of the little itty bitty cardboard packaging. And then I've got this one here that has like all of my blues and greens and it has a couple from um, like Ipsy, like the last two in the front, the top row are from like Ipsy. And then I've got a couple of Morphe shadows in here from when I ordered the James Charles palette. And the rest of it is makeup that I've had for a while. That's actually how I used to do my makeup. I didn't own any eyeshadow palettes until like April of last year. I was doing my eyeshadows with the singles because I didn't, I didn't own palettes or the ones that I did have were like 15, 20 years old. I pulled the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I actually didn't even use this today, but I figured with the Jeffree Star palette being like blue with a couple of peach tones, I figured this would work really well with that because it's got all like the neutral shades and stuff. And then of course I've got my singles that I can use as well. So, um, hey, I like guys with long hair. I've always found guys with long hair like sexy. Now, bald guys that have like the long rat tail ponytail in the back, that, that that's definitely not a turn on. But I've always liked guys with long hair. I don't know what it is. I like a good voice and a good set of hair. Those are like, like the external attributes that I really look for when it comes to like guys is they've got to have really nice hair whether it's long or not, um, but they also have a, a really, a really good, like nice, rich voice. And then nice hair are always like a bonus, but I usually go for intelligence and personality first. And then I worry about the looks and stuff later. So yeah, well, I mean, we all change. And then of course the job industry makes you like get rid of certain things and whatnot. I almost feel like I got hairspray in my hair. I don't, I don't. Um, okay, so I also pulled this highlighter. This is from Ofra. This is their highlighter in Star Island. I'm wearing it right now. It doesn't look like it. I could probably put more on. Ron Swanson. I don't know who that is and what is Parks and Recreation? What's Parks and Recreation? Okay, well, while... Oh, uh, I've never heard of it. Okay, so I pulled a couple of single shadows. This is the IBY Beauty and Get Soaked. Um, this I got in my March Ipsy Glam bag. I have two other ones here. This is a loose eyeshadow from Marsk called Foiled Again. I pulled that. I pulled this from Nomad Cosmetics. This is in Desert Sands from their Marrakesh palette. I pulled that. From Manikandar, I pulled Fantasy. This can be used as a highlight or an eyeshadow because technically it says on the back. I mean, it says on here that it's for eyeshadow and highlight, so I pulled that. I'm actually wearing this today. This is the uh, Marcel Eyeshadow Duo and Rock and Rose. So these are the two colors on the lid and then I use single shadows for the crease color. So that's what I'm wearing there. I pulled, I don't know what that is either. Were the Millers? Oh, see, I've never heard of the, where, where are the Millers? I pulled my Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. Um, 
I mean, it's a little dark for me, but I'll use it. Today I used the little itty bitty pans, but that's the only bronzer I pulled. I have my powder mixture as always. I pulled the Wet n Wild Cushion Con uh, Corrector in light and yellow. I haven't watched very many Jennifer Aniston movies, sorry. These are the original um, BH Cosmetics eyeshadow primers in it's their smooth canvas line i have one in bisque and one in veil and they're like drying up they're like seriously pulling away from the sides so i did pull these to use them this month because of the fact that they're drying up this is like supposed to be a dupe for the mac paint pot i've never owned that i wouldn't know I pulled the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the Maybelline um, Foundation in 102 because I do have to lighten, lighten things because I'm pale. So I pulled that and I'm wearing a combination right now that I don't really care for because the actual product that I put on is like way too dark. Um, I pulled the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen in shade 8. I use this to do like liquid contour. I pulled that as well. I've got three lipsticks here. I've got more. I've got a little basket here. This is in Spice Petal from Flower Beauty. This is one from my line called Speak Up. I just want to use it um, instead of like throwing it out. And then I pulled Varnished Rosewood from the L'Oreal Color Riche line. Uh, the Model Co. Brow... Insta Brows and in Medium Dark, I pulled that. I pulled my Urban Decay All Nighter. I actually used it today. It's like the first time I've used it in forever. What is what I'm wearing right now with the Maybelline foundation over it is the It Cosmetics CC Plus. This is in light. Wait till you guys see the video of me putting this on. Um, holy crap. It's like five shades too dark for me. I put it, I like put it on and the first thing I thought of was, oh my God, I'm like the color of Trump. It was bad. So this is like way too dark, but this is what I have on. And then I took the Maybelline Superstay and like put it on over it after I blended this out because holy crap, I, not only was I orange, but I was like literally five shades too dark. It was bad. I can see your mic. Yeah, uh, yes, hopefully you can. It's still, it's in the video frame. I have been on YouTube for over five years. My five year mark was, Mar was March 26th. That was five years since my first video was published. But my other YouTube channel, which is this one, hang on, this one, Okay, the one I just commented on in chat, that's my original YouTube channel. That, that one has been up for more than five years. And I'm posting all of my hair and ASMR videos on there. Okay, so I pulled the Smashbox Studio uh, Skin. This is their, they like, as soon as I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag and like the, the day um, I went to upload the video to YouTube I looked for this and they had literally just reformulated it and now it's called something else but this is unfair I have the Maybelline age rewind in ivory and I pulled the makeup revolution in C2 it's like almost half empty so I want to like use it more to try and use it up I rearranged a few things now um, this is actually the lip gloss that I'm wearing this is called cutie it's from my line I have the elf this is their matte lip crayon in T-Rose on, and then the, the cutie shade over it. I am testing out a new sunscreen, so pray that it doesn't cause any more breakouts than I've already currently got going on on my face. Because um, I used a product last week on my face and ended up I did a face mask one day and ended up with a bunch of breakouts, which is common. And then I did something else like three days later and got more breakouts. So that wasn't fun. I use this. I have this mineral sunscreen that I got a sample of and I tried using it and my whole face went, oh my God. 
So I was like, okay, I won't be using you on my skin anymore. So this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Uh, it's a baby sunscreen. It says for body and face, this is SPF 50. I am testing that out right now. Um, it smells just like cocoa butter, which I love that fragrance. So that's okay with me. I pulled the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. Um, I've had this for a couple of months now. I just forget to use it because I don't really wear foundation. So I'm going to just start wearing it without wearing foundation and see what I think of it. But I mean, it's basically brand new. The tube is still full. I've only used it like twice, except for today. I used it today. Holy, oh, uh, okay. I got holes in my fingers. Um, I pulled the Ipkin Radiant Cream Primer. This has SPF 15 in it. It's about to here on the tube. I've had this, I got it from Ipsy, so I've had this for a little while. I want to try and use it up. I have the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. This is a pore filling primer. I used this in my last month's Shop My Stash. I really like it. I don't know that it fills my pores, but it makes my, fi my face feel like satin, so I like that. I pulled the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm in, this is light, medium. It's way too dark for my skin, but I use it to like contour. Ah, da, da, da. We're getting down there. We're getting down there. Only a few things left. Bear with me. Okay, another lip product. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. It goes on kind of like a mousse and then dries down matte. Uh, I don't remember what I think. I mean, I know I don't care for sat. I don't, I don't care for drying lipsticks, but I, I don't remember why I hated it. I just know that I didn't like it. I pulled the, for the, uh, love of color out of your shell. This is the one and done shadow stick. It's in this beautiful, like iridescent, like cream shade. So I pulled that for like putting on like my lid and then packing shadow over it or as an inner corner highlight. Um, pulled the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel again for this month because I really don't want to run out of the cello because that stuff is like 26 bucks. Ooh, it depends on your skin type, Logan. And my, I think my brother just got in the shower in my dad's bathroom. So if you hear shower running, that would be my brother getting a shower for the first time in three days. as long as they're pg-13 and under and don't talk about my nose i need to discuss that logan oh buddy um i'll have to do like another live stream that is not a shot my stash to go into the nose topic i think i'm going to add another banned word to my channel um, okay, so I pulled three mascaras. The Makeup Forever Excessive Lash I had in last month's Shop My Stash, but I added some of my uh, eye drops to it to revive it because I really like using this on my bottom lashes because of the size of the wand and it doesn't transfer onto my cheek, even though my lashes are really long. Um, so I pulled this again to get more use out of it. I'm wearing this Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I really like it. I just hate the wand. And then I pulled the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. The wand on this is like humongous. It is like a massive brush tip wand. I like the shape of it. I just wish it wasn't so voluminous. And I don't like the formula. It like flakes off my lashes on my face all day. And that's the only reason why I don't like it. The wand is too fat and it flakes. But everybody raves about the formula. I don't see why. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, Rome, I don't have a problem with that, but I've, I've had some people leave some comments about my schnozzola lately, and uh, if you want me to be nice, don't say nothing about my nose. I, I know I have a big nose. Okay, um, for liquid liner, I pulled the Milani iTech Extreme again because, well... That's the one I've been using for the last three months in a row. And I'd rather just stick with one liquid eyeliner that's going to be just as good as the other two that I have. Instead of constantly rotating through liquid liner. So I'm just going to use one and stick with it for right now. I pulled three, four, 
four liners and two lip liners from my line of cosmetics. So I pulled a green one, the silver one, a black one, and a navy blue one. Actually, Logan, um, it wasn't hater stuff. It was um, words of encouragement, and some of it was like sexually explicit, and uh, people were telling me how beautiful my nose was, and then leaving other comments about what they would like to do with my nose. So that would be a big, huge nope. Nope, 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 and nope. We will not be going there. I am sorry. So, yeah. Um, they even put my, they took pictures of my video on YouTube and posted me into a, a Facebook group called We Love Big Noses and left a link to my YouTube channel, which is fine. Had it stayed at that and somebody admiring my schnoz. The Facebook messages that I got were rather distasteful. And the ones I got on YouTube went into my uh, waiting to be approved folder because YouTube deemed them inappropriate, which they were. And the messages I got in direct message on Instagram were enough to make anybody blush. So... Yeah. I would rather have somebody with a beautiful mind and a beautiful heart than somebody that has a beautiful facade. I might wake up one day and look like butt shit first thing in the morning and I'm taking that word from Raw Beauty Christie because I like it. And I can put on a lip color and some mascara and feel completely different about myself. And the reason for that is, is not because I made my lashes all one color or I put paint on my lips. It's my mindset that changed because I thought I looked better on the outside. It made me feel better on the inside. Now, I do wake up some days and my health problems have got me in the depths of my darkness and I don't want to get out of bed and I mentally kick myself in the ass and I'm like, get your ass out of bed, Rebecca Lynn. You're not going to lay there all day because you know what? Your back's going to hurt in about an hour. And I'm like, oh, I don't want my back to hurt more than it already does, so I better get up. I don't care if I go sit at my computer for 14 hours and stare at it until I'm cross-eyed. I need to get out of bed because if I lay in bed for more than an hour after I wake up the first time and my brain tells me it's time to wake up, my back will start hurting and then I get tingling, burning sensation that shoots everywhere and it feels like my back needs an ice pack on it because it's overheated and then I start to sweat because my back is on fire and so I've just learned it's mind over matter. I might want to roll over and go back to sleep. My back doesn't like it when I do that. So I have to ignore what my body wants, even though I want to roll back over and go back to sleep. And I got to be like, I got to get up. I got to be productive. I don't care if I sit up in bed and, and slide over into the chair next to my bed and read a book for an hour. I'm not laying in bed anymore. I physically got up. So sometimes it's just those little things that I need to do mentally in order to kick myself into gear. So, okay, I'm waving around lip liners here. You've, you've officially been scolded with lip liners. Okay, so I pulled two neutral shades from My Line of Cosmetics, and then I pulled the red to go with the red lipstick. And then this is the other brow color that I pulled for this month. And literally that is everything that I pulled for this month's Shop My Stash. I'm going to put my lip cream and my eye cream in the little basket. And when the Jeffree Star Blue Blood, Blue Blood palette gets here, I will be adding that to this month's Shop My Stash. Because that was what I had planned to do when it got here. I will be doing a swatch video on my bare skin. And I will be doing various eye looks with it. And I even plan on comparing it to the very few blue eyeshadows that I do have. Um, and my eye is watering. And this chair is killing my butt. 
Ugh, I gotta stand up for a minute. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Ugh, I had a message the other day that, uh, actually, I think it came in. I saw it this morning. Um, it basically said that the guy asked if I was on drugs. So I'm like, do I look like I'm on drugs? Do I look like my teeth are rotten out of my head or I've been picking my face or I look emaciated? That I asked dad about that. I was like, dad, do I really look that bad? And he's like, no, you've put on some weight. I was like, yeah, I finally put on some weight. I'm like a steady weight right now. I'm, I'm like right at 130 pounds. I need five more. I'd take 10 if they'll give it to me. But the thing is, is um, I guess because I'm tall, I look smaller than I am so I guess there's that yeah I I post videos um, every day at 5 p.m. on this channel um, they're usually makeup and skincare related and then on the other channel that I've been commenting on I'll type it again if it gives me my keyboard hello keyboard Ooh, that's not what I wanted give me the keyboard this one okay the channel that just commented in chat hi I was reading your name and I don't want to butcher it Ak Sean Nosh Ak Sean Jay Swall? Oh. So which one did I pronounce? Did I correct it? Did I correctly pronounce it the first time I tried to read it or the second time? <laughs> With a name like Oberstadt, I should be able to pronounce something like your name. I was trying to say my last name to somebody earlier today and they tried to put a U in it. I'm like, where do you get U in Oberstadt? It's an O. And she's like, O-B-U-R-S-T-E-D. I'm like, no. <laughs> I think of over and stat. She's like, over, O-V-E-R? I was like, yeah. But instead of a V, put a B, a B in there. She's like, oh. Where's the you go? I'm like, a you, there's no you in my name. Hey, that's really cool. Your name means uh, equator. Well, my first name means beautiful. My other name means over, or no, no, fall over a beautiful fall and my last name means over the city so if you read it out how it's written if you say rebecca lynn Oberset, it translates because my name is hebrew my name translates to beautiful waterfall and then they over the city so they've always said it like beautiful waterfall falling over the city that's what my whole name means beautiful waterfall falling over the city so i guess there's a bunch of drowned people in the city Poor city people. But there is a town in northern Germany called Oberstadt. About 3,500 people live there and about 70% of them are related to me. So there's that. <laughs> so I, I don't even know how long I've been streaming. I know it's like 3.30. I don't even... Let me see if I can see. And get a nice up close and personal look at my shoulder. 50 minutes. Holy crap. I didn't know I'd been streaming that long. So I've been streaming for about an hour. Yep, get a really good view on my shoulder right there. So, I just closed the door. Oh, my back is starting to hurt really bad. It's time for some leave. I took three this morning. I'm almost out of my prescription strength stuff. I'm officially going to take drugs on YouTube. They're legal drugs, but you know, technically there's, there's still drugs. 
So the, there goes that guy's uh, statement about doing meth. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna start saving these weird and creepy like comments and stuff that I get on YouTube. I'm gonna save them and I'm gonna end up getting a bunch of them and doing a YouTube video on it. I've already got like five saved. But just in case anybody's wondering what I just took, that's it. That's what I just took right there. Over the counter, a leave. I didn't even take, I have, I have the prescription strength stuff. I've got five pills left, four pills. Yep, five pills. I got five pills left and these are 500 milligrams a piece and I'm supposed to take two um, every like 12 hours. So that's like 2,000 milligrams a day. I don't know what Sean means. And Sean has so many different spellings of it. It's unreal because you have the S-E-A-N, which A-W-N, and S-H-A-U-N. And if there's other spellings of it, hell, I don't know. Call the web play. I know, right? Yeah, I was wondering why um, your Instagram name was like something else. I did get your message. I don't know if I replied back to it on Instagram or not. I'm kind of flighty when it comes to that. My sleep schedule has been all screwed up lately. It is what it is. I guess I could, let me, I don't know how big of a mess my room is. Let me see if I can unplug my power from here. And show you, I've been redoing my room. And it's going to be dark in the hallway. Oh, well, that makes sense. Here's my room. Those are clothes that I have to, like, go through and see what I'm going to wear and what I'm going to keep. I have to, like, go through all of my closets. There's all the makeup that I'm going to be getting rid of minus the two boxes on top. I just did that to cover up the blush that's underneath. So this is all the makeup that I decluttered that didn't go in the garbage. And, yes, I like frogs. I like frogs. I think they're cute. Bully, bully. Bully. Baby. Did you knock your water over again? Hey, what are you doing? There you go. Now you can see him moving. Bully. Come here, baby. He's like, screw you, mom. Was it come here? Nope. I got the camera. And then I just put this here this morning because it was on top of my GNC. More frogs. I know I'm obsessed. Some of these, like this little guy here, was a gift. The one that's in the corner next to the horsetail. And that was a gift. And then I used to be friends with the branch manager for Wells Fargo. And that's where these little guys came from. These are official Wells Fargo horses. And this one here is rare. They only made like so many of them and they gave them out to like, had a casualty. Uh, and my phone just went on low power again. Get up there. I even have little miniature frogs. And then this is when Bully shed last time, I got his entire skin. He shed his entire skin. So I thought that was cool. And then somebody gave me this, and, and the person who gave it to me is kind of a creep, and I don't talk to him anymore. But if you look, it's a freshly caught fairy. And then let me move the snake skin so you can see the other fairies. So these are pewter fairies that a friend of mine that I know makes, and they have wings that go on back, but the cats like to knock them off, and they're made out of glass, and I don't want them on the floor. So this is what actually goes in this box. And I think it's like the cutest thing. Oops. 
from a, a wide variety of religions and I've got all the rest of my books over there along with the more frogs there's more frogs oh all of this is stuff and list online for sale so that's what those and my, my other frogs my other frogs yep I love my frogs frogs butterflies if you you can see the my snicker is over here my old bully he's 10 years younger than me so he's an old boy I gotta plug my phone back in it's dying Yeah, the video was breaking up because my phone wasn't on the charge and it was running out of battery. So I guess I could put my gauze and stuff back. I mean, I I tore up half my drawer looking for surgical stuff. And hell if I know where my blades are to my scalpel, but... I found my scalpel, but I couldn't find the uh, number 10 blaze for it, so. I didn't have to cut off any of the skin that had gotten, um, use it just all my other emergency stuff Ta -da. I will be doing a tour I just okay I've been recording a lot of videos lately I think within the past like week uh, I'm stuck why am I stuck? Hello? Are we there? Can you hear me now? Are we moving again? Hello? Do we have sound and picture again? Okay, good. Oops. Um, okay, so I didn't record like last week, um, well, not last week, the week before last. I didn't record anything Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. This past weekend, I didn't record anything Friday or Saturday. I didn't edit anything Friday, but Saturday I edited like two videos. Sunday at like four o'clock in the morning. I got a wild hair after watching a bunch of YouTube videos where people were doing like makeup room tours and makeup collection videos and makeup inventory videos. I'm like, I wonder how much makeup I really have. I don't have that much. I don't have money to buy makeup other than like a lipstick every, you know, couple of months or whatever. And usually I pick it up when I'm at Walmart and dad ends up footing the bill for the $5 lipstick. Say hello to Glossy Garnet. That's actually how I got this lipstick was because I thought it was a pretty color and I threw it in the cart and dad ended up paying for it. So that it is what it is. Um, so I don't buy makeup. But then I was like, okay, well, I don't have a lot of stuff. I'll do an inventory and I will just see because these girls were talking about, oh, I've got like 20 palettes. Another girl was like, oh, I've got like 150 palettes. I'm like 150 eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God. I counted mine and I about fell over. I'm like, there's no way. Even if I take out the single shadows, there's no freaking way that I have 
this much makeup. I'm like, where did it all come from? And I got to thinking, I'm like, I was getting Birchbox for a while. I got Sephora Play for like eight months. I've gotten Ipsy Glam Bag for like two and a half years. I'm like, okay, five samples every month of various things, be it. Oh, that's one thing I didn't pull, perfume. I guess I could do that. Let me see. I've got Eternity for Men. Chloe, Elizabeth James, Nirvana White, Viva La Juicy, Tom Ford Neroli, Portofino, and Prada Candy. The other three I just put back in here, so I know that those were in my last month's shop, my stash. Something in here smells really, like, good. I think that... I love the smell on the rolly. That's what I'm smelling. What is that? Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. What's this one smell like? Kind of like an old lady. What are you laughing at me now for? Okay, so I'm going to pull Eternity for Men, Chloe and Elizabeth James Nirvana White. I don't have very many perfume samples. I've got 10 total, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, nope, I got nine. I just can't count. So I got, I've got nine little ones like this. And then I've got some really old Avon ones that are in like a cream form. I've got Mesmerize. Let's see. I've got Night Magic. Amari and this one I think is Mesmerize. I've been I've loved these fragrances since I was a child So that's why I still have These fragrances because I, it's something I grew up with I like them if I could afford the Avon colognes I would buy them. I've got one. I think Avon perfume. That's a full size and it was They discontinued it years ago and I found somebody on like Poshmark or Depop or Mirakari selling it and I wore the shit out of mine. So there's like very little left. And she had a bottle of it. And it was like almost unused. She said she used it for like a couple of months. And then she forgot about it in her collection. So that's like the only perfume that I have. That I only wear for like very special occasions. Like I used to drown myself in it. They had like a, they had a candle. They had body wash. Body lotion. They had the body powders for it. And oh my god I loved all of them. I'll get it. It's the other one is still in the box. This is called Carmala, and I love it. Absolutely love it. But Avon discontinued it, and I have a little bit. I mean, literally just a little bit of it left. And I never even burned the candle because I just I love the smell of it. So I only have a couple of like full size perfumes. The rest of everything I have are like body sprays, so, and I've got some Avon of those and I've got some Bath and Body Works, but for the most part, everything that I have like perfume wise are the, are the little sample things or I get like these little things in the mail and like my Ulta catalogs and I like them. Um, I like to smell them on these. Not that I could ever afford a hundred dollar perfume, but even the little guys that are like this, something like this lasts me forever. So, what, the Eternity for Men or the Avon perfumes? Oh. Eternity for Men is nice. I like men's colognes. I have a couple of them. I prefer scents like that, but but then again, I, it just depends. Some, some days I like floral fragrances. Some days I like the candy smelling ones. But most of the time, anything that's like a musky fragrance or a man's fragrance, I'll, I'll wear a man's fragrance hands down any day. But like the other fragrances, I really kind of have to be in the mood for it. Like there was one that I wore like last week 
And I walk by my dad and he's like, pew, you smell like dead flowers. And I'm like, well, what the fuck do you think perfume is made out of? And he's like, Philly, you stink, go away. <laughs> and I, so I brought the perfume out and he smelled like, I brought him out a couple of different bottles. And the third one that I handed him, he's like, oh, this one smells nice. I like this one the best. So that's the one I'm wearing. He goes, oh, go away. That one smells like rotten flowers. I was like, you just said you liked it. Now you're telling me it smells like rotten flowers. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I guess my body chemistry changed it. So it literally smelled, it smelled like uh, flower petals that had like molded or some rotted or whatever instead of them smelling nice and fresh it is what it is I mean perfume smells completely different from one person to the next and then if you like spray it on and then you do this by rubbing it you heat it up and then it changes the fragrance of it as well so the whole chemical composition of it is like completely um changed but uh oh, I just heard the door open. You already got a shower? I'm done. I'm gonna get that back here. It's right here. Come get it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm corded. Get, get over it. Flip. Give me that. Did you see what he did? Oh, I'm gonna fall off the stool. I opened the door to peek out and he stuck one of these fingers in the door. Well, dad's going to get a shower. You see, people don't, after the video that went up back in March, was it March? Yeah, it was March. Um, people are like, oh, I don't know how you can live with him. He pulls stuff like that all the time. But people are like, oh, I don't know how you could live with him. Uh, have you met my dad? He's hilarious. Oh, shit. We're constantly pulling shit on each other, so. Hang on. <coughs> Try not to cough in the microphone. That would be bad for him. My nose is running, so I've noticed that allergy season is in full bloom and every time my nose runs or I blow my nose, like my eye has been watering like crazy today. And like every time my nose runs, it makes my throat tickle and then I cough. So I've been coughing a lot more than normal and my hair is driving me bonkers. I so cannot wait to chop it off. Oh, I just want to get rid of it. It's gotten to the point where it's annoying me. Let me get some of the flyaways put away. I'm testing out a new hair conditioner right now and I don't like it at all. But I've got a big two ounce bottle tube thing of it. I think it's two ounces. It's almost two ounces. It's like an ounce. It says 1.69 ounces on the bottle. So I'm going to use it until I run out of it. And then I won't, I won't definitely won't buy it. But I had it. I don't usually condition my hair twice. And when I, sh when I got a shower this morning, I shampooed my hair twice. Like I usually do put conditioner on it. And I went to rinse the conditioner out and I could not get a comb through my hair. And that is very unusual. So I had to use the assistance of my shower water in order like midstream in order to get the water to work the knots through my hair. And I had to put conditioner on again. So I conditioned my hair twice this morning and then I got out and tried to brush my hair and oh my God, it was, it was bad. April 11th is the date that I go in to cut my hair. And now that I got a fancy camera, I can actually bring that camera too. And I'll also be recording on like my iPad and my iPhone from like different angles until the batteries on them die. So I, and she's going to be recording as well. So there will be plenty of video 
going up. I'm still waiting on the paperwork from the Wigs for Kids thing. I submitted the information on their website. I'm waiting on my confirmation stuff for it to print out the paperwork to take with me to the salon. So I'm waiting on that. Jack, what are you doing? Kitty, kitty. Jack, Jack. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Are you stalking mommy? I thought you were. Do you have really pretty blue eyes? No reply. Was I not going to talk to mommy? Hmm? I'm talking to my Siamese. Hey. What the hell is that? I stick my hand out and you give me the fuck you? Cats. Anyways. I should probably end this live stream. This stool, I keep getting up because the stool is bothering me. It's making my back hurt. And I just want to go crawl in bed, but got another hour to wait to hear what's going on at the vet. So I don't know, I might live stream from my computer. I just want to get off the stool. It's killing my ass. <laughs> it is. It's probably the best 10 bucks I ever spent at Walmart because it comes in handy. I can use it as like a stepladder. Uh, I can sit on it, it folds up, it's lightweight, but the padding on it leaves a lot to be desired. So. Yeah, um, I did post on Instagram and Twitter some information about Emily. Um, I know you guys have seen her in my videos here on YouTube. She's also been on my social media. Um, but I will definitely, as soon as we know something, when we go and get her, she'll probably be drugged out of her gourd. I told her, I told her before we left because she kept like, every time I tried to move my hand, she's, I brought her home. She was supposed to be a foster dog for a couple of days until the guy's wife came back into town because he had way too many dogs to take care of. And the guy was, he was supposed to meet with me Wednesday and pick her up. And then Wednesday rolled around and, and he said that his wife wasn't back from uh, the family's ha member's house. I guess they were having health problems or whatever. So she went to go be with a family member. So he said, um, I said, that's fine. I can keep her for a few more days. It's not a big deal. I'll just bring her to you on Saturday. And uh, Friday rolled around and dad said, how much? And so we ended up spending $300 on a dog that was supposed to be AKC registered because that's what the wife told me when we asked how much she was um, because we were going to initially breed her to get, because she was only supposed to be six pounds. She was supposed to be a six pound tiny teacup chihuahua. She's not. She's a standard size chihuahua that's fat. So, um, so she started out as a foster and then dad fell in love with her and she used to like sleep in my bed and, um, like follow me everywhere. And after about like two months of having her, all of a sudden she didn't want to sleep in my bedroom anymore and she always wanted to be in my dad's lap. And see, when I'm at my desk, I'm constantly like moving and shifting because my back is always hurting. Or I'll sit with like my knees up on the edge of the desk so there's not like a whole lot of lap room. So she would sit with my dad because he sits with his feet on the floor. Um, and so she's got like something flat that she can basically lay on the whole time. And he like completely like spoiled her rotten and doted on her. Now granted, I was home with her every day, you know, seven days a week, taking care of her, that kind of thing. Dad only really got to see her at night or on the weekends. And then all of a sudden she just became his dog. So I'm the one that brought her home. I'm the one that named her. I'm the one that, you know, potty trained the beast and 
everything else, but she definitely is my dad's dog. So, and she's hard headed and stupid and like thinks that she'll do something bad and she gets punished for it. And then she'll turn right back around and do the same thing again, knowing when she does it, she's doing something wrong and that she's going to get punished for it. And she'll watch you to see if you notice that she's doing something bad and then do it anyways while looking at you. I'm like, really? Re really? I can see you and you're pulling it right in front of me? Ooh, that just makes me mad. It's like the cats when they get on the furniture and they're like, <laughs> and you're like, don't claw the couch. And they're like, <laughs> and you're like, mm. So then you chase the cat around the house with the spray bottle that's got the battery acid in it that you pour from the tap, that, you know, that H2O stuff. Oh, that makes me angry. I caught my cat doing it the other day and Bubby, I was sitting in the kitchen. I was making a cup of coffee. He walked past me. I pet him, went back to stirring creamer in my coffee. He walks right out of the kitchen up to the back of the couch and goes, and I'm standing there making coffee and I'm like, get off the fucking couch and he's like and it was like he was he was content to claw the back of the couch until mom stepped out of the kitchen and then it was like the eyes went from this to this and he had the oh shit moment and he's like Oh my God, mom's coming, run! And like eight cats scattered in the living room. And I'm like, mm-hmm, yep, mom's coming. Mom chased you around the house and on the way by dad's computer, she grabbed the battery acid, mm-hmm. Yep, mom certainly came and she sprayed everything that moved. And it's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wanna claw the couch with me standing right there watching you? Yeah, you're gonna get sprayed with a water bottle and you're gonna be soaking wet because I told you to quit and you went. And mommy didn't like that. So hopefully you like your bath. Ugh. It's just, um, <laughs> oh, they do. They certainly do. They know exactly what they're doing and they sit there and they're like, hi, I'm gonna I'm claw the couch now. Just so you know, I'm going to claw the couch and you're going to stand there and I'm not going to give an absolute shit about what you say or do. But as soon as you move, I'm going to haul ass because I know what I did was wrong and I know you're standing right there watching me. But I'm going to claw the couch anyways. So, yeah, we get that quite a bit. Yep. Kids, they're like furry, small, defiant children even my children weren't that bad now granted i was that bad when i was a child i was really bad my parents told me not to do something i made sure i did it right i went above and beyond when i did stuff bad or sneaky oh yeah mom said i couldn't have cookies all right See, if you can find the cookies next time bitch they're gonna be under my bed and i'm gonna be snacking on them suckers at two o'clock in the morning Yep. I used to do stuff like that. I'd hide food. Um, I would double up on clothing because my, uh, my mom was very particular about what clothing that I wore. So I would wear like two shirts and like a pair of shorts under a skirt and then take the skirt off <laughs> and take the over shirt off and I'd be wearing a completely different outfit. My mom started getting slick on that though. She'd, she'd come in and I would have to go in to see her in the morning before I left for school and she would reach up under the skirt to touch my legs to see if I had something on underneath like a pair of shorts. So I had to be real slick about that. I was sneaky. I was definitely sneaky. Very sneaky. I didn't like do anything bad. Like I didn't drink, I didn't do drugs. I didn't like go to parties or sneak out of the house or anything like that. If I did sneak out of the house, I was most likely in the yard laying in the ferns watching the, the stars or I was hanging out in a tree talking to a guy 
or a friend, or I was in the orange grove throwing rotten oranges at a friend at like three o'clock in the morning. That was the stuff that I pulled when I was a kid, or we went cow tipping one time. So, I mean, for the most part, I had a pretty tame, like wild streak. I never like partied or drank or did drugs or any of that kind of stuff that I've never been that kind of person. I've never, I don't have an addictive personality, so I don't understand why people drink alcohol. I'm the way I am right now, overtired, a little slap happy. That's how I am when I'm intoxicated. I'm no different than I am right now. Um, I might be a little louder, a little bit more giggly, but other than that, that's, this is how I am when I'm drunk. So I don't see the point in drinking alcohol when it's basically me anyways. There's my brother blowing by. Yeah, I never did that. I didn't really kind of have a chance to. I mean, I had health problems when I was like in my ninth grade year. So it, it kind of took the fun out of it for me. Like I had a really bad reaction to... Um, the doctor was worried because I was so underweight. And he's like, oh, well, you can um, smoke marijuana. It'll help you put on weight because you'll be hungry and you'll be able to eat and keep food down and that kind of stuff. And my friend Robert, he had this stuff. Um, he was a supplier. And so he gave it, gave me some marijuana and I tried it and definitely worked on keeping an appetite and being able to keep food down but it was the amount of food that I ate that was what made me sick because you figure you go long stretches without eating because you're so nauseous and your stomach's upset and all that kind of stuff so you don't want to eat because even water makes you throw up so then you go from not eating to eating way too much in one sitting and then you get sick from overeating and yeah um I don't know what it is with marijuana, but it was, I, it visually messed me up. Like, it was like somebody took a bunch of Polaroid pictures and laid them out on a table and that's how I saw everything. It was like a snapshot. Every time I would like move my line of vision, it was like another Polaroid picture being laid down. That's how I saw everything. So I don't know what happened, but all I know is that, um, I had some really bad experiences with marijuana in 1995, and I will never touch the stuff again, ever. Am I frozen again? Yep, I'm frozen. Am I still moving on your screen? Because I'm like frozen on my screen. Uh, I need to, I need to go anyways. I'm gonna just like chill out here in the bathroom. This stool is like really hurting my back. I'm not seeing a message pop up. I think I'm frozen.
I don't know if you guys can still hear this or not because I'm frozen on my screen, but I'm going to go ahead and end the live. I will see you guys later. Hopefully you all have a great day or night wherever you are.